Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. There is a saying that goes, there's none so blind as those who refuse to see. And for the SNP and the Greens, that blindness is total and absolute when it comes to the benefits of nuclear power. Scotland needs nuclear power. Indeed, it needs a lot of it because the nuclear power station it has at Torness does provide a huge amount of power. And you can cover Scotland in bird chopping windmills as much as you like. But when the wind isn't blowing, they're no damn use. If you want to have power and you want it to be clean, nuclear is the only way. And that has been exemplified by an MP at Parliament at Westminster who's tried to explain to the idiots and fools of the SNP and the Greens that nuclear power is clean, nuclear power is safe and nuclear power is the future. And who says so? Just about everyone else in the world. The only people who don't like it are the morons who vote SNP or the morons who vote for the Greens. Everyone else in the world understands the true nature of what we need and how it can be delivered cleanly. Let's take a look. So Tory MP schools blind SNP and the Luddite Greens over refusal to consider nuclear power because these people are too stupid. They don't understand how safe, especially modern, uh, modern nuclear reactors are. They're not designed for weapon production, so they're designed purely for power and they fail safe at every fail point. Whenever this fails, it's safe. That fails, it's safe. They have detectors that are so sensitive. If you walked in with a Brazil nut in your pocket, it would detect the radiation coming off a Brazil nut. Yes, they are radio uh, radio radioactive Brazil nuts. Uh, they're still safe to eat. I'm not saying don't eat them, but it's tiny, tiny. People, here's the thing. People living in Aberdeen absorb more radiation per year than people who work in nuclear power stations because all the granite hills is radio radioactive. Background radiation, you know, it's there. But yeah, the Granite City, bang, radiation everywhere. It's all energy up there, isn't it? Coal, oil, gas, radiation. Good on you. Aberdeen, gateway to power. Anyway, get back. Andrew Bowie says nuclear power is now recognised as one of the solutions to climate change. And yet the Nats are refusing to join Western allies such as France, Finland, Canada, Japan and the USA in embracing the power of the atom. Germany closed its nuclear power stations because it said, oh, we're good, we're good, we've got all this natural gas. I know, I can't get that one either. They're going to burn natural gas rather than nuclear power. They think that's cleaner and greener. Who knows? Uh, but that's fine because they're getting all this gas cheap from Mr Putin. How's that working out? Uh, anyway, the SNP MP had the tables turned on him at the House of Commons as he was challenged to explain why the party is refusing to join the worldwide push for nuclear power. Kilmarnock and Loudoun MP Alan Brown chose to ask about the cost of building two nuclear power stations in England, Sizewell C in Suffolk and Hinkley Point C in Somerset. He said, when will the government admit the actual cost of Sizewell C will be a colossal £50 billion noose around the bill payers' necks? Just as an aside on that, this is because Sizewell C, when it was announced, was the previous generation uh, and they've been building it and it's built to the previous generation of nuclear uh, power station specs basically the new ultra modern ones fujitsu not fujitsu fukushima no who builds it it's one of the japanese company hitachi it's something like that anyway they have this new ultra small ultra compact nuclear power station design um it, it, it's a third of the cost uh, and it's ultra ultra safe and clean uh, and they've, they've designed so well i think it's hitachi build it uh, and they and they they it's ultra ultra safe ultra ultra clean and um, it's the new sort of gold standard and it's so relatively cheap in term, in terms of how much energy it puts out for the for the capital investment that you put in um, and it, they're selling these all around the world now they're they're, they're currently building something like eight at the moment um, and you know India for example India's but I think India are building two even India are going let's go and make this investment and have nuclear power uh, so. They're all doing it. And these things don't produce the the output that is usable for nuclear weapons. And that's the thing. So they're actually piece of, you know, there's no, there's no let's build nuclear weapons out of the waste product. That's not there. That's not the kind of things they are. And they use these little pellets and they go in and it basically it's an atomic kettle. But 
everyone who understands basic physics will understand how a, how a power station works, a nuclear power station works. But the trouble is with the SNP, they're not very bright. None of them are very bright. And they don't understand that actually a nuclear power station, building it, running it, and whatever, even decommissioning it, is still cleaner and better for the environment than all the bird choppers. And don't even get me started on solar panels. They are incredibly awful for the planet. Have you seen what is involved in making them and the, the millions and millions of tonnes of earth that has to be dug up, the holes they have to build to get the ore? And these machines are like a thousand gallons of oil a day. This is how bad it is. But they say, yes, but they're nice and green. Oh, they're nice and green when they're sitting on top of your house. But they're not nice and green when you're making them. Build a nuclear power station. Hey, it's done. It'll last a hundred years. I've got solars on my roof. I didn't do it to be green. I did it to save money. Uh, when I put them on, I was told, oh, they'll pay for themselves in 11 years. And then the prices went up. Seven years, boom. They'll pay for themselves in four years. After that, it's effectively free electricity. Well, aren't I yippy dippy do? Anyway, Scotland now has only one functioning nuclear power plant, Torness in East Lothian. I remember driving across the top, sorry, tangent after tangent, driving across the top and we went through, and what's the one right at the top on the north coast? I can see it from the road, the big round thing. Oh, heavens, to anyway, you know where it is. But I went past there. And I said, can we go in and have a look? And they actually did tours and you could go in, but that, they don't allow it anymore. Um, it's really going to annoy me what this, what that one is. But anyway, back in the day, you could go around, they took you around on a tour, but closed now. Um, yeah, so anyway, Torness in Lee Lothian only nuclear power station. Yeah, it says, yeah, even with the proliferation of wind farms, between 10 and 50% of the energy needs of the nation is still provided by nuclear power because the turbines don't work when the wind is not blowing, as I said. In response to Mr Brown, Scottish Conservative MP Andrew Bowie hit back. He said, the SNP, blinded by a misplaced belief in its own exceptionalism, seems almost alone in the world in not recognising the benefits of new nuclear when it comes to meeting our net zero objectives, delivering our energy security and improving our baseload. Last year's COP28, uh, COP 30 countries around the world came together to commit to increasing nuclear generated capacity by 30%. It would be brilliant if Scotland could be part of that change, but the SNP and its Luddite partners in the Green Party are holding Scotland back. We're determined not to do that for the rest of the UK. I think energy has got to be a devolved, not a devolved, a retained matter. Energy is national security. And I think that national security should be in the hands of Westminster. And it should be up to Westminster to say, right, we're going to build 30 nuclear power stations. You're going to need, just and again, an aside, but this is a relative one. If you're going to power all the houses by electricity and all the cars by electricity, just to power the cars, if every car in Britain was electric, you'd need 36 nuclear power stations. Add the houses on, you're going to need another 40. So Britain's going to have somewhere for full use when you look at industrial use as well. It's going to need something like around 100 nuclear power stations over the next 40 to 50 years. And, of course, the massive 60 to 100 billion pound investment in upgrading the national grid. Good luck. Anyway, Mr Bowie, the Energy Secretary and Net Zero Minister, was at COP28 in Dubai, where nuclear energy was formally recognised as one of the solutions to climate change. Some 22 world leaders also signed a declaration to make efforts to triple nuclear energy base by 2050. But not Scotland, because, you know, dim. The endorsing countries included the UK and the USA, Armenia, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, the Czech Republic, Finland, France, Ghana, Hungary, J Jamaica, Japan, Republic of Korea, Moldova, Mongolia, Morocco, Netherlands, Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Sweden, Ukraine and the United Arab Emirates. And I always get Slovakia and Slovenia completely confused. Slovakia is next to Czech Republic. Slovenia is next to Italy. Um, if you're getting the likes of Jamaica are going to have more nuclear power stations than Scotland, does that tell you that Scotland's probably got it wrong? If Ghana, you know, Ghana in Africa are going to have more nuclear power stations than Scotland, do you think Scotland's got it wrong? This is absolutely stupid. Uh, of the Scottish government, but you don't expect less. They are incredibly stupid. Uh, 
French President Emmanuel Macron said, if you want to reconcile job creation, strategic autonomy and sovereignty uh, and low carbon emissions, there is nothing more sustainable and reliable than nuclear energy. And for once in his tiny life, Macron is correct. But the, yeah, the Luddites, that's all they are. They're scared of it because they don't understand it and they can't control it. Nuclear energy to anyone with even A-level physics. You don't need a degree in physics. A-level physics, and it's so easy to understand. And you can see why it's so damn safe. Coming up. It scares them, doesn't it? It scares the SNP. It scares the Greens to have a nuclear power station because they're all living in the 50s. They all say, oh, look, size well. Oh, a wind scale. Look, wind scale went up. Oh. That's how they think. They, oh, five mile island, three mile, three mile island. You know, they, they look at uh, Chernobyl. They were all first, second and third generation nuclear power stations. You're on sixth generation now. The, the, like I say, the, the modern ones are so safe. I mean... You'd have to blow it up, and even then, it wouldn't be much of an explosion. Do you know who guards them, by the way? Territorial Army. They're the ones responsible for the safety and security of nuclear power stations. But they, there is nothing wrong with them. Build them. Let them come. Build a hundred of them. And let's all have cheap and safe and clean energy. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And let's remember that the SNP and the Greens really are incredibly backward. They probably want us to go back to horse and cart, which is incredibly bad for the environment. Bye.